Chaim Chaikel began to cry. And everyone cried with him. There was a man, a Rabbi Friedman, who was a Nevardiker. He was a Musser um, student, a great man who also was very familiar with the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And he heard the, um, the terrible story of what happened, what's going to happen to Chaim Chaikel. And when he came home in Bnei Brak, he wrote a letter to the Lubavitcher Rebbe expressing his pain for the suffering of Reb Chaim Chaikel, asking why should a man of Reb Chaim Chaikel's stature surely throughout his lifetime his merits are far greater than the one event why should he have to lose his feet in his old age the Rebbe's answer was swift it came a few days later the Rebbe told this Rabbi Friedman that his name was Rabbi Leib Friedman. Rabbi Friedman, your letter about Rabbi Chaim Chaik and Wolatsky has reached me. It says in the, the Torah, bidrachav, you should go in God's ways. If he goes in the ways of my saintly father-in-law, namely that he will study every day the Chumash, the portion of the Torah with Rashi, with the commentary of Rashi, and say the Psalms a portion for that day. Torah, he should learn every day a portion. There are seven portions to the weekly Torah portion, and every day he should study that Torah portion for that day with Rashi and say it. And every day of the month, there's another section of the Tehillim, the Psalms that we say. We finish the Tehillim every month. And the holy book Tanya is divided for lessons throughout the year. And so he should say that part of the Tanya for that particular day. Together it's called Chitas. And this is what my saintly father-in-law instituted. And if you'll go in that way, I guarantee him that he'll be able to walk. As soon as he got the letter, Rabbi Friedman ran to the bus to show the letter to Reb Chaim Chaikel. Reb Chaim Chaikel saw the letter and kissed it and immediately began to study Chitas. In fact, the Rebbe said that by teaching others that they should also study Chitas, that this will also hasten the cure. A few months later, Reb Leib Friedman came to visit Reb Chaim Chaikel in Jerusalem and by that time Reb Chaim Chaikel was walking with a, with a stick and told Reb Leib that I've had a great turnaround. They're no longer talking about amputation and I hope with God's help soon I'll be able to walk without a stick. This is the story as it is 